So what are your neighbours like? You can't choose them, but you're stuck with them. If you're lucky, it could be cups of sugar and friendly chats over the fence. But the wrong kind of neighbour can make life hell. And tonight, there's trouble in the neighbourhood. I've had some complaints about the noise. Are you old Bill? No, I'm with environmental health. <laughs> 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 turn the music down slightly. Right, <laughs> but I don't want to think I won't be too happy about it. Oh, explain to me why you're shoving me out of my house. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I'm getting in no. there. No matter where you live, you're likely to have an assortment of characters in your midst. And the situations that arise amongst neighbours can be surprising. This scene starts innocently enough. A mother playing with her children on a London council estate. But things soon take a dramatic turn when a neighbour comes by inquiring about a forgotten debt. Oi, Candice. Oi. Hello. Hello. Can I have my money? I've just been looking at your door. Oh, don't ask me. I'm busy at the moment. Well, no, I'm back later and ask me. Like, look, my, my brother's filming. You me last week. Look, he's filming. I don't care. Well, you I owe do. me £50 and you said it's last week. It's not £50, it's full. Where'd you mind? Where are you filming? I guess you did get it wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. You owe me £50. Oh, f***. The behaviour of some neighbours can be frightening. Hookers in the doorways, drug dealers in the street, people wrecking your property. It can all get too much. It's enough to drive some people to a video camera. People themselves aren't always the trouble. The pets they own can be a concern too. That's if you can really call them pets. The residents of Wilsdon Green also tried to stop the takeover of their homes. Though in this case, they were illegal squatters. This was the site of one of the largest squats in Europe. An entire block of flats had been taken over. Protests were lodged by the squatters that the law was being broken by the forced eviction from their homes. He's in contact with our lawyers and you should not be in here. You have no warrants in here. You have no right to be here. You're, excuse me, look, you're just pushing me for no reason. I'm trying to explain to you the law. I'd have thought that as an officer of law, you'd be at least interested. something that'll have to be discussed later. At the end of the day, you're coming out today. No, excuse me, that is it. Don't you see, you here. have to, you have to Don't actually abide here. by the law. Do you agree with that? Do you just decide what you're going to achieve and then do it? You're shoving me without any reason. Can you explain to me why you're shoving me, please? Please explain to me why you're shoving me out of my house and living in the common park. Why are you shoving me? You have no warrant. You have no protection order. You're shoving me. You're kicking my private property. You have 
no reason to do that. seem to have had enough of this guy complaining. Well, it's not only squatters who can be unwelcome guests in your area. Imagine if you found out your neighbour was a paedophile. Without a doubt, paedophiles unleash emotive reactions in people. If there's a suspicion that one might be moving into the area, protests begin. Residents understandably get charged up and even try and take the law into their own hands. A police station in Bristol was attacked when people thought it was harbouring a paedophile. People were festering all night, the thought that he was in there, um, sort of five minutes away from our children. And then people started drinking, uh, a load of mindless individuals were coming in from other estates, joining in, drinking, and inciting a hell of a lot of trouble. You know, blood on your shoulder, but we're going to deal with him if he comes here. So it's your duty not to bring him here. We are the majority, and the majority say he does not come. In this scene, residents are jubilant as a paedophile, together with his wife and child, are taken away from their home by the police. It's not just paedophiles that spur angry residents into action. This American family is hounded because their son is remanded on bail for the murder of a local schoolgirl. No. They're bad. Did you, did you see his face? You didn't see his face. He could kill us. Straight as a pin. He could kill us. That's from the devil. You can see the devil right in his face. Everybody on these blocks has been living through pure hell for the last three weeks. You will not accept them coming back to the block. Absolutely not. As yet untried for the crime, the man is abused by residents who are appalled at his attempt to return to the neighborhood and continue living there. I could not believe he was walking down the street. You got everybody on edge. It's, you can cut the intensity here with a knife. It's so thick. These people aren't judges and juries, but they're acting like it. They're, but they're worse. They're, they're, they're animals. They turned out animals. I see people on TV on the station this morning that supposedly are my wife's good friends. Everybody got a heart and road. They're in that house. We want them out. The family are forced to move on. have you been kept awake by a noisy neighbor parties barbecues fights and even someone's favorite record can lead to sleepless nights and worse well, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, great party. everybody needs good neighbors but we don't always get them so if you have got good neighbors you can thank your lucky stars <laughs> 